Hi there, my name is Alan Brower, and I'm an investor, advisor, business owner, operator, and a husband and a father. I'm the co-founder of a company called Best Self, and we scaled that business from zero to eight figures in under 24 months. Along that journey, I've won Forbes 30 under 30, the Shopify Build a Business, uh, competition. Shopify built a bigger business competition, the only company to ever win both of those uh, awards. And I've been mentored by some of the most incredible people uh, on the planet. Tim Ferriss, Tony Robbins, uh, Marie Forleo, Damon John. Uh, it's been an incredible ride. The four things that I want to give to you to scale your business without all the brain damage that I went through in scaling mine would be one, implementing a system or a formula for your marketing efforts. There's three ways to grow your business. There's only three ways to grow it, and that is increasing the number of customers that are coming in, increasing the amount of money that they're spending with you, and increasing the frequency at which they purchase. There's one way that you can hit all three of those by doing one thing, and that's called skew widening. Skew widening is a formula that you use to develop products that you then launch to your existing customer base or to a new demographic. Product A would be standalone products. Product B are complementary products that support product A and provide more value. Product C are extension products. These, this is stuff like swag, uh, merchandise, uh, think of like hoodies and t-shirts and stuff like that. Product A is going to increase the number of customers that you're getting in. Product B is going to increase the, uh, the amount that they're going to spend with you. And C-level products are gonna make sure that your raving fans are coming back to you again and again. So that's one way to hit all three of those buckets. When you're just starting out, you should implement systems and SOPs into your business or standard operating procedures. Think of this as a playbook to run your business. This is a playbook that you can hand off to an employee that you just hired that can run the day-to-day -day operations of the company. And this is like a checklist. So a checklist on how to run your customer service, a checklist on how to find manufacturers, a checklist with how to do product research, a checklist on how to launch new products. And it gives your new employees a way to run the business without you micromanaging it and without keeping everything in your head. What's also special about this, this playbook, you can hand off to a buyer if you end up going to sell your business. It makes the business more valuable. So you can hand off the business without what they call golden handcuffs, where someone buys a business from you, but because you're so intertwined into the day-to-day -day operations, you now have a J-O-B. The third way that you can grow your business and scale it extremely fast is by finding rockstar employees. So find people who are better in certain areas of the business than you are. So you're probably really good at digital marketing or operations or product development. Stay in that lane and hire everybody else for the other stuff that you're not good at. And they're gonna be able to do it at a level that you wish you could do it at, but because they now work for you, the business is gonna grow by leaps and bounds. The last thing and the fourth thing that you want to do in your business is to elevate the customer experience. Build a, a brand, a global brand that can weed out the competition because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get success and then the vultures are gonna start swooping in. But if you build a brand, your customers, one, will tune out the competitors, you're gonna be moving at such a fast rate that your competitors can't keep up, and they're gonna come in and they're not gonna be able to compete with you because you're just doing things at a higher level. So elevating the customer experience would mean something like providing value after they make a purchase, sending them emails on how to get the most out of their products, giving them testimonials of, here's how this person is using their product in a different way than probably what you thought could be used for. Sharing uh, advice, how to, getting started guides, uh, videos, any way to elevate the value of the product that they just purchased. Another amazing thing that you can do is put them into a Facebook group. By putting them into a Facebook group, they are now surrounded by a community of people just like them. When they're in this community, they share resources and get more value. They can ask questions uh, or comment or see what's coming from your company. 
You can do beta launches to this group to see if this product is going to work, if it's right, uh, or if it needs tweaking before going to the masses. And they'll be happy to give you that value. You can also get, uh, get uh, reviews or testimonials from this group, and you can also get user-generated content. They're gonna start sharing this product in use inside this group and on social, and user-generated content performs so much better than studio photos in advertising. We spent tens of thousands of dollars on just one shoot. Took one day, and I think we spent $12,000 on just one shoot for, for our products. We then used those images on our advertising, and they flopped. But what wins is when your customer takes a photo with their iPhone and you take that image off of social, off of uh, Facebook or Instagram, and then use that in your advertising, it performs so much better. So it gives them a place where they can share this. So what you'll end up doing is you'll start generating more money with the business, creating SOPs and systems so the business can run smoother without you, finding people who are better in certain areas than you are to help you run the business day to day. You'll elevate the customer experience, which then can fuel the marketing initiative again. And every time through this cycle, it gets easier, faster, the business gets healthier and stronger, the brand is built, and you start making a lot more money. And here's the best part, you start removing yourself from the business. So the business becomes an asset for you rather than a full-time job where you're trapped in it, in the day-to-day -day operations. Start implementing these, these four areas into the business and you'll start slowly start removing yourself from the day-to-day. -day. If you found this content valuable, head over to my website, alanbrower.com, and you can get more value like this. I'll share with you a behind the scenes look of how we're growing and scaling the companies that we're acquiring and sharing how we're helping e-commerce business owners grow and implement these systems in their business. Thanks.